During demolition we found some interesting things. Uh, we kind of knew we would, just not to this extent. By the end of this video, everything that you're seeing now is going to look completely different. And with that, the castle began telling us a bit of a story about itself. So, we're gonna get started in this room, right here. Oh yeah, the chandelier. Mm -hmm. Okay. They have a lot of dick. Can I they? Can I know? Oh, we'll do whatever we can ourselves. It's safe. Yeah. The lot of the roof stuff, the lot to get people in. No. We can't say that of ourselves. Yes, you can. Well, it's not how. You this was easy because it's hollow. <laughs> We need a crowbar, hammer, and a sledgehammer. This door, we could just willy-nilly keep the shit out of it. This door, no. This door, we could take off at the hinges. While me and the psycho worked in this area, that's behind the stairs, uh, we needed help in the areas where I was too scared to work, like here. And pretty quickly, things started to change. This is all cool, but none of it's original. In fact, there was only 16 rooms at the castle when it was first built. So we're going to take it back to that layout. And obviously we're going to try and do it as gently as we possibly can. I don't know if we should be using the garden rake, but we should... This is where all that pan... that ceiling shit is at. Oh, hang on. Um... Oh, oh, oh. And before you know it, we started to make discoveries. Of all the places to find something amazing like that. And it's in an area which has caused us so much crap. Those are roof beams. Almost like a reward for having a nervous breakdown. I quickly found the demo is quite easy. The hard bit is stopping the place from falling down while you're doing it. And that's why we have these temporary walls just supporting the entire castle really. So a massive thank you to Janie of the League Kempner House for recommending Ricardo. And those walls are probably needed in this section more than anywhere else. This one's full. Um, this one is full. This one was full but I've just emptied it but it will be full again pretty soon. <sighs> so, <laughs> one day this will be a thing of the past. 
I've been working a lot of hours, um, but I didn't want to leave all the work to other people. I wanted to do stuff, you know, so at night, spend a couple of hours just ripping shit down. And I'm glad I did, actually, because the best thing that we found, in my opinion, it was behind these blue walls. Before we get to that, I just want to quickly show you something. This pink bathroom with the beautiful stained glass, which we're keeping. It's very heavy, and it's already sunk into the floor. So yeah, definitely gonna need some help to do this bit. It's a shame that water doesn't kill termites, but they absolutely love it. I'll tell you what though, it's very therapeutic in some ways. But yeah, look at all this, this is the frame. And that's why the structure is, I better stop there and it might collapse. All this, it should be holding a lot of the weight of the roof, but it ain't because it doesn't exist. So what's happening is the actual stone wall, this thing, is taking a lot of weight. But it weren't made for that. This is cool ball, look at that. There used to be a door here. Um, but yeah, this is everywhere. Deep down I knew it was gonna be like this. Just wishful thinking, isn't it? Wishful thinking is an absolute bitch in life, isn't it? Do you feel lucky, punk? Oh yeah, we found this, um, and it was in a box. It's real as well, there's none of that toy stuff, it's got all these bullets with it. God, that's old as shit. Where in the, in the house was the gun? Yeah, um, it was inside of one of them, one of the workers found it yesterday. <laughs> so, um, Kristen won't let me keep it, she caught me up here playing John Wick, you know, poom, poom. You don't know who it is, who's been shot? It's my gun. The only shocking thing is that this dude didn't arrest us for wasting his time. While they work in this area, that's the sink. Apparently there used to be a pink toilet too, but it blew up. Stained glass that was on top of it. And we've saved a lot of these tiles as well. I think we managed to grab at least half of them.
whispering, but yeah, look, these are these are like original windows. I thought that when all this conversion was done, all these windows and everything would have been ripped out, but they're not. All they did was cover it, and, and the colour's gone a little bit as well, like on the wood. Uh, but this window, the one that's next to it, look at that. He's still got the weight, as you can see, right here. And that um, is XV11, which I looked online, and that means it, it's like £17. There's no damage to it at all. There's no water damage. It looks, it looks like it's just been cleaned. It doesn't even look dirty. It looks... I'm so glad I came tonight as well. I was tired as hell, but now I'm like, yeah, I want to do more. You didn't say this was like a dining room? I think so. The, the wall went from here all the way down to here. And that was an entrance into the house. And this is why these windows were such a big deal. It's as bad as things are, those windows just helped us really visualize what this place used to look like and i'm pretty sure it was stunning and things are about to get quite a bit worse especially when we rip up all these floors at least we're making progress yeah so yeah it's easy to focus on all this but you just need these reminders sometimes as to why you're doing it and things like these windows, which were above the staircase. Just imagine all that light beaming down into this room, highlighting all the staircase and all the wood. Yeah, this is going to be spectacular. But first, we've got a bit of work to do.